Hey, this is Fred from Moveful Products. Congratulations on your purchase of your move inverter heat pump. The first thing about setting up a heat pump in your backyard is choosing the location where the unit is going to be set. First thing first, you've got to make sure that your fan is always going to have as much as clearance as possible. You want typically between 5 to 9 feet if the fan is on top or even on the side. The more airflow that comes within the unit, the better the, better the performance. Second thing is every single heat pump that are installed in the market from Move are directly made for 240 electrical voltage. They have and must be installed by an electrician or else your warranty will be voided. To connect your heat pump, you have an inlet and an outlet. Inlet is going to be at the bottom. There's the blue inlet logo there, as well as the outlet at top. Blue means water comes in cold, goes out hot if you're on heating mechanism. Even if you were on the cooling system that we do have, it would still come in at the inlet on the blue and the red on the outlet. To operate your unit, you're simply going to unlock the screen by holding the lock button for five seconds. You're going to hear basically a little beep sound as well as the light's going to go on stronger in the back. You can then press the on button to simply turn on the unit. If you wish to increase the temperature of your heat pump, you can simply play with the arrows here specifically. When the temperature that is blinking is on, that means that's your set temperature. It then goes back to your inlet temperature, which is currently showing 78. The water is going into the unit at 78 degrees Fahrenheit and then going out of the unit at 78 degrees Fahrenheit as well. The fan here is to control between the smart mode as well as the silent mode. The silent mode is at two bars and then the smart mode is going to be at three bars here. We recommend to always leave the unit in smart mode unless you do want to have more of a quiet afternoon in your backyard. Finally, you have the spa mode that you can press this to turn on the heat pump at maximum capacity. This requires the unit to bring up the temperature up to 104 or its best potential output. To go back to the other mode, you just press the spa mode again and you'll be back on the sun system here. Currently, the heat pump fan has just turned on. We have a soft starter system in our heat pump that means that the fan will start first to increase its speed slowly and then the compressor will jump in 10 to 15 seconds later. We will see the compressor that jumps in basically when the compressor speed here at top right percentage is going to increase. The compressor starts at 20% and slowly ramps up to the set speed it needs to go to. A heat pump will heat slowly your water at all times. It is a marathon mentality. We can currently see that the water is going into the unit at 78 and going out of the unit at 81. Although the unit was set, for example, at 85 in this condition. It means it is gaining over three degrees Fahrenheit for the couple of seconds the water sits in the heat exchanger that we have in here. It will slowly go up in time to reach the 85 and then will adjust its speed, reduce its speed automatically to ensure to have your pool always at the temperature you desire. A few tips and tricks to finalize basically your installation of your heat pump. Heat pumps are going to create condensation water. This is perfectly normal to have a puddle of water around your unit. By drawing the hot air in, and expulsing the cold air, it creates a heat differential, which creates basically condensation and water around your unit. This is not your pool leaking, it's just the unit that's working hard. The second thing as well, is that your heat pump will require all the heat evaporator to be cleaned out every year if there is pull-in or every few weeks or months, depending on the conditions. To do this, you take a regular hose and you're simply going to screen down the water to ensure there's no pollens that goes on your blue fin tips that you have on the aluminum. Finally, if you are in a region that you requires winterizing your pool, this will, unit will require to be completely drained of water, meaning you will have to open the inlet and the outlet, let the water completely drain out, brush it out, or basically dry it out with a shop back, and afterwards you're going to cap it to ensure no water goes into your unit for the winter time. If your unit does have a failure over winter because of water left into the unit, it is unfortunately not covered by the warranty as we cannot be in your backyards closing the heat pumps for you. We hope you enjoy your heat pump. For any questions, feel free to reach out to MOVE. Thank you.